Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art and today we're going to be making a large Chinese bowl using a very simple technique that uses just 30mm by 30mm squares of glass. Let's get on with making this Chinese bowl. Um, I think you'll lo like this project because it does um, um, open things up to a lot of creativity which is what I say all the time but it that is true this is a little tedious the technique is simple but you do have to cut up a lot of little 30 mil by 30 mil squares and then you have to lay them up in whatever your desired pattern is um, so it takes a bit of time but I'm sure and I'm absolutely sure that you love the final result. Now if you like this video please hit that like button but more importantly please put some comments in, uh, in the comments section below So I really love answering your comments and your questions I should say and uh, your comments will help me in uh, future videos so I know that what I'm doing is what you want to see. I'll just go over the uh, materials and the requirements for this project um, and the design um, but just remember all the glass I use here is Bullseye 90 COE and uh, any firing schedules I give you you will have to adjust to either the glass you're using if you use a 96 or your kiln because remember not every kiln fires exactly the same way. Now this will give you some idea of how this is going to work we have two layers of glass. The bottom layer will be clear glass today and the top layer will be uh, Bullseye 1332 which is Fuchsia. So I cut up the glass into 30 by 30 mil squares and I'll then lay that all up. I'll actually draw a pattern up on the thin fire I'll use. I'll lay up the bottom layer of clear and then I'll lay up the top layer of fuchsia over the top of that so it overlaps about 10 mils on every side. That will then be all tack fused together and then I will slump it in this Chinese bowl mould. The size of the piece that will go into that will be 270 mils by 270 mils and another thing I should say is that, <coughs> excuse me, I'll be using 4mm clear for the bottom, um, only because I, at the moment, have more 4mm than 3mm, but you should just probably use just 3mm normally and 3mm for your top, which will give you a nice strong piece. So the first thing we've got to do is cut up all the glass. First of all I need to cut all of the clear pieces for the bottom. I need 49 little squares 30 by 30. So I'm going to cut up 30mm strips and then cut them into squares. So I've got one cut up here and I'll just cut up the others. I'll need six in total. Now to help myself and make it a little bit easier, I'll go now. Th I'll go through now and score these at 30 before I then snap everything. I'll snap them all shortly then and for the top layer I need 36 uh, 30 mil by 30 mil squares so I need to cut myself um, how many I need to cut myself three strips out of this to get that 36 
So I will go through and um, cut all these in the squares and I'll be back shortly and show you that. I finished cutting up all the glass and I have washed it all. Now I did have to cut some strips which I forgot to mention. These are 10 mils wide and a couple of little 10 mil square pieces for the corners. Now here I've got a piece of thin fire on the shelf and I have drawn up my pattern, the grid on the thin fire. Probably looks like a jumbled mess at the moment but it will make sense as we go along. I'll just try and quickly explain a little bit. These squares here form the bottom layer and these here are the overlapping squares on the top. Now this is just a guide for me as I lay everything up. But you should get the idea very quickly. Um, so I'll get on with this and get it all laid up so that we can get it in the kiln. I'm not going to glue it up. I'm impatient again and I want to get it in the kiln tonight. Now the last bit are the strips which go down the sides. And we're ready for the kiln. So this will go in on a tack fuse and um, after that we'll have a look at it and see whether it needs any coal working before we then slump it. Um, it's all fused up now and um, actually you can see try and put it down there you can see that the final piece is going to have a really nice light to it and just give you a little close up there you can see how everything has slumped and tack fused together we've got a lot of nice texture on the back an interesting pattern so it's all come out really nice. 
You use that word nice a lot, I know. So it's just a matter now we'll get this into our mould and do the final slump. And it is a slump this time. Uh, just to remind you, I uh, prepare all my moulds with boron nitride, not with kiln wash. I'm really happy with this bowl. I think it's turned out absolutely amazing. I love the fuchsia colour and um, when it's in place it gives a really nice effect with the light. So um, give it a go. I advise you very much to give that one a go. It is not difficult. A little tedious but it is not difficult. And try different colours. Um, you'll be surprised at how well this will look with pretty much any colour in it. I'll be uh, mounting this on a stand like this. I might actually make one that's transparent. And by the way, I will have a video in the future showing you how I make these. So I'll just be mounting it on one of those like that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed that. Um, another thing you could try too is uh, just do it in a different size, different shape, maybe even uh, rectangular. Actually, triangles not a bad idea as well. Anyway, um, that's it today. Um, don't forget to subscribe. That would be appreciated. And um, a couple of videos up here. And until the next video, I'll say bye for now.